That's enough of that. <laughs> Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the Hashem, Rechapadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who rule well, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, and Shalom to all the brothers out there preaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Shalom and Barakat Thumb to all of these brothers. And uh, what you just saw was the, the latest controversy in Israel and really a uh, it's an example on many a manifold example I should say an example of what not to do all right uh, an example of which camps have the spirit on them okay all right and and, and ultimately um, it's an example that the Lord is not with these these big aggregated Unity camps and all of that nonsense. All right. The Lord deals with separation. He deals with order. All right. He, he, he deals with favorites, meaning some camps are going to have better breakdowns than other camps. Why is that? Because the Lord wanted certain men to know certain things and certain men. He wanted to stay ignorant of certain things. All right. There's many lessons that we can get out of this whole shit show which you just witnessed, which is two group of grown men fighting, antagonizing each other. All right. Um, and from what I hear, this is largely instigated by the larger camp, which is IUIC, who had a, at least a couple dozen brothers, it looks out there. Um, and uh, ISUPK, which is a few brothers that were out there now. Some Jakes could look at this and say, man, this is embarrassing for all of Israel and all of that. And I understand that point. But you got to realize the Lord already has a plan and he knows what he's doing. As bad as it might look to certain heathen, to other people, that makes us look bad. It's still the will of the Lord. And you got to remember the Lord wants to confound things. He wants to confuse things. He wants to lay down stumbling blocks. And ultimately, we, we know the elect will not be blinded by none of this nonsense. And that's the that's the key thing. <laughs> All right. And that's in Romans uh, 11. All right. Romans 11, verse 7, it says, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Israel meaning the, the larger body of Israelites. All right. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. All right. So we don't have to worry about how this looks to the people that matter, which are the elect. Everybody else talking shit about Israelites. Y'all are violent, blah, blah, blah. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't know the plans of Yahweh Shimei Shai. 
All right. And ultimately, they're going to be destroyed. Ultimately, every, every guy that got emotional about this and left a camp or decided to be a Muslim or or, or just go back to, uh, you know, living with his with his girlfriend, eating cereal, playing Madden all day. All right. Go back to doing that anyway, man, because that's really what you wanted to do anyway. If this is enough for you to drop the plow and turn around and look back and look at this fucked up ass world and say, yeah, I'm going to try to stick it out. With, with 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 Babylon, then all right, all right. Best of luck to you, man. All right, but which we don't believe in luck, but best of luck to you. <laughs> all right, because the, we've been telling you that these guys are largely just niggas that know that they're Israelites for the most part. Are there elect among them? Yes, but by and large, these these bodies, these large groups of uh, Israel, especially if they have a lot of numbers, you got to ask, how did they get large numbers? Well, they would they work. They work through the system. They work through the system of Babylon to get more views. What do I mean by that? They look at YouTube algorithm. They look at what clicks. You can see it in their titles. You can see the, the, the topics of coverage that they cover that favor women. You can see it in the way that they dress all of this opulent. Uh, extravagant uh, 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 garments and all of these things that they wear. It's all to just garner attention and, and to, to look more attractive, to get more views, which will give you more women, which will get you more tights. That's what this whole thing is about. They're niggas running the business, man. All right. When, when this is the Lord's business and he just commanded us to go out there and preach, not to do none of this extra shit. Nobody told y'all to go to go shut down Barclay Center. Why? Because it doesn't matter. The scriptures already said Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election hath obtained it and the rest were blinded. So there's just going to be a group of people you're not going to be able to convince trying to be a nigga. Having sticks yet camp. All of this worldly hip hop vibe culture that you're adding into the truth to, to make it more palatable for niggas. It's not going to work because the Lord doesn't want them to get it. There's nothing we can do to bring in a member of the elect. Hold on. I didn't even mean to go down this path. <coughs> John 6 and 44. No man can come to me except the father with which hath sent me draw him. <laughs> All right. So even Yahweh Shah is saying this, man. It's in red letter. All right. So it's not up to us who come into the camp doing all this. Extra, just do the fucking work, man. Don't get bogged down about whose corners is who, who got the better garments. We got to do a promo for the for the Alabama camp. We got to do a promo for the New Orleans camp. To what end? It, 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 it's not up to you whether the elect hears it. All right. It's not up to you whether these seeds fall on fertile ground or, or, or unfertile ground, man. <coughs> it's up to the Lord, man. And this is why the Lord is showing it, because we're getting ready to come into a time where all of the confusion is going to be laid to rest. Who are the men of the Lord and who are not? That's the time we're getting ready to go into. <coughs> so, Lockie, you forgive me my cough. Um... So now you got a nigga behind the camera talking shit now. <coughs> talking about y'all supposed to be the ones teaching us. <laughs> All right. See, they're they're waiting. Our enemies are waiting for, for things to catch us up on. All this footage. Believe you me, it's gonna be brought up again. 
excuse me, and it's going to be levied against you in court, man, or into some whatever counsel that he has for you. You know, that's why how I said, give no thought of what you shall say, because you're going to have to answer for a lot of the nigga shit that other other people who know that the Israelites are doing. We're going to have to answer for it. This is why you don't engage in this nonsense. You worry about fortifying your mind for the day of trouble, man. That's why the scriptures say abstain from the appearance of evil. Why? Because other brothers can be caught up in it. <clears throat> but at the same time, it's all good because we knew that we would be. It's all prophecy, man. But anyway, let's get some precepts on these guys real quick. Second Timothy, the third chapter really goes hard on them, you know. So 2 Timothy 3 and 1, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Alright, and we're in those last days, in very perilous times, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, <clears throat> bolsters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy, man. And these men are lovers of themselves and they're covetous and they boast. You can look at it in these Passovers that they're throwing. The ISUPK Passover, commanding General Yohanna is ordering all camps to show up to, to basically a, 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 a big uh, party event, man, which is not the spirit of the Passover at all. IUIC Passover, Nate's coming in on, the, on, a, on a decked out horse with all his garments on. He's taking photo shoots. These are men that love themselves, that are boasters, and they're not boasting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. If they were, they wouldn't, they wouldn't think the term bum is an insult, but they, they think the word bum is an insult when the Lord said he's going to deal with who you call bums. He said he's going to deal with the, the lowly, the meek, the poor. He's not coming back for niggas with millions and lots of clout and fight. Well, well, with a few of them, could they make it? it? Sure. But by and large, you know what, what manner of man the Lord is dealing with. He's dealing with men of integrity that don't have much according to this world. But they have their integrity. They know who they are and they're going to do the right thing. And ultimately, they would resist unto death when it, when it comes down to it. And you got men not even meditating on that fact that they're going to have to face death, man. That's what's happening. And instead of you warning your, 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 your flock about the perils to come, look at you. <coughs> Verse 3, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent. How many times did we get accused in Great Millstone of, of just straight nonsense? We go to the scriptures. You have a problem with the breakdown. You don't offer a better one. And somehow you feel entitled to just levy accusations against brothers. Ridiculous, man. Incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Why? Nate has had some kind of burning hatred for, for, for GMS for no fucking reason, man. Anytime we come out against IUIC or there's a review, you've done something. And we're not going to speak to whether or not you're a bum or, or you need personal ad hominem attacks. If you go off, you get rebuked, man. That's how it goes. Verse 4. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the Most High, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. So their form of godliness is they walk out with fringes. They tell you that you're an Israelite. They tell you the white man is the devil. These are all great things, but what? What's in their spirit ultimately? It's pride, man. And, and, and ultimately, they will never admit it, but we know in their spirit, they like being here in Babylon. They, 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 a little part of them wants this to continue because they have things on this side. <laughs> All right, you see, this is why the Lord deals with the meek and the low, the people that don't have much. Because material things will have you thinking you got it, man. Will have you thinking... You can push things along. You can procrastinate a little bit more. That fear of the Lord can vacate from you a lot easier when you have more stuff around you. 
It's a lot easier for Satan to talk in your ear. So if the Lord blesses you with riches, man, you have to ask yourself, is it really a blessing? <laughs> All right. Because we know that the times to come, money and silver, gold, none of that's going to save anybody. So why did the Lord give it to you? Is it because he loves you like the pastors in, in church would say? Or is it because he's testing you? See? <clears throat> Verse 6, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lust, man. And we see all this coming out about these guys and how I see these women can leave their husbands. So, of course, that's going to mean you can have more women because they're going to feel good about the wickedness that they're doing. And then you're setting them up to be adulterers, man. Telling them to leave brothers that are in other camps, other brothers that know that they're Israelites. Telling them to leave them and get with another man that, that, that's in your camp. Not in the truth, in your camp. So, so you have a bunch of silly women in your, in, in your camp. With googly eyes towards all of these brothers. And, and to be honest, they're really, because these women are hypergamous, they're not looking at the average IUIC jig. They're looking at the leadership, Nate and the deacons, man. So if your woman is in IUIC, just her being around those men are going to be a liability. Eventually, her nature is going to kick in because the spirit of the Lord is not on them because they showed up for the wrong reason. And more adultery is going to ensue, man. And the scriptures were on point calling all of these things out 2,000 years ago. All right. Verse seven, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. How many times y'all go to Revelation 13 and break it down wrong completely? Revelation 14, wrong. Revelation 17, wrong. <coughs> Makes no sense. Members are not allowed to ask questions or think critically about the matter. And even in the time of today, because 10 years ago, it would have been a lot harder to see it. But now it's like it's basically obvious. Even in the time of today, you have them doing new breakdowns in 2023, doubling down on nonsense, man, when they can see the infrastructure that this guy has set up. They, they, they basically have came, came out and said it. All right. Really, it's just a matter of time when the karagma comes out, man. Verse eight. Now, as Jans and Jambres uh, stood, which stood Moses. So do these also resist uh, the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith that they shall proceed no further. For their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was, man. And their folly is manifest. Because y'all look stupid out here. Showing up to another man corner. Talking shit, moving chairs around. Getting into altercations. And the way that these guys, when you watch this whole video, the way that these IUIC guys laid hands on the ISUPK guys, which they didn't really beat them up, even though they were outnumbered. They outnumbered them. They, they, they arrested and tackled them. Like tactically, man. Meaning they rehearsed this. So y'all knew. All right? You all knew. Verse 9. But they... <coughs> to lock you for my cough. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. And that's what we're seeing right now. Nate and the IUIC and these other camps that get doctrines wrong. This is the beginning of you looking stupid. I'm telling you that right now. This is the beginning of you getting exposed and looking crazy. And, and brothers and, and GMS are great. We're not going to have to lift a finger. That's how the Lord gets down. He confounds you. 
All right, confuses you first before you get judged. <coughs> Salak, excuse me one second, brother. Trying to avoid getting up, getting water, but forgive me. Verse 10, but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience. All right. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. What persecutions I endured. But out of them all, the Lord delivered me. All right. So. Let me just keep reading. It says, yeah, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach shall suffer persecution. All right. So the Lord is basically saying we haven't seen anything yet. man. For, for the for those of us living in the, in this time. That the persecution is about to turn up, man. And that's when you're going to see the true colors of these men. All the bravado and, and quote unquote alpha energy that these guys have. You know how they, 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 they walk with their chest out and, and, and uh, they wear these, uh, <coughs> what you call them, uh, the, uh, the arm braces, I forget what you call them, forgive me. With the, with the black, with the spikes on them. All right. The Lord is getting ready to show you that don't mean shit. The, the real persecution is getting ready to come and you're going to see the real true colors of these men. All right. The scriptures say the mighty men in, in here are going to be like women. And, and, and look at them. Instead of putting their faith in being spiritual men, they're giving into carnality. And clout, man. Uh, like, why would you want clout in this world? Verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So they're not going to learn from this. Mark my words. Niggas like this are going to double down. They're going to do more dumb shit. And watch how these men turn on you. Watch how they start snitching. You gonna have niggas on, on, on Fox News up there telling, man. Like Charleston White, straight telling. And the Lord gave us this warning for us, those of the hopeful elect. This warning was for us. Because there's gonna be other Israelites. They're gonna start showing their true colors, and there's gonna be an alert and a wake up signal to the elect. And there are precepts that, that, that tell us how to move, man. That's why you have to be like, you, you're, you have to walk as if you are alone. Even though you have brothers, you have to walk as if you are alone. Because you don't know who the Lord is going to pluck out of your life, man. Your wife, your, your, your mother. The Lord said you got to be rooted in your Hawashai, man. He, he's the only certainty in this thing, man. Although I know I have men that I know or I believe they're going to make it. The scriptures didn't write that any man, particular man, was going to make it, <laughs> you know. But one thing it did say was that Yahweh Shah was going to return. And if you're not right. OK, if you, you folded your shit up in a napkin or you've been bullshitting. You're going to be dealt with just like these heathen are, man. Don't give a damn if you're an Israelite, man. This is reckoning. This is the judgment time, man. This is the grand finality before the greatest kingdom to ever exist is manifest. And you think the Lord is just going to let niggas in the, any whatever kind of spirit with that effeminate Babylonian spirit on them into the kingdom like that, man? Hell no, man. You're not only not going to make it into the kingdom. But you're going to be judged as an example of what not to do before the kingdom. And you'll eventually come back. 
you know. But examples have to be made of you guys because this is not a joking matter. This is not a time to be splitting your priorities, getting bogged down on nonsense, man. Verse 14, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. All right. And Nate learned the name. He learned all of the breakdowns from Apostle Sahar. And what has he done with them, man? Did he remember them? Yeah, he remembered them. But now he's scoffing against them. You see? The Lord say continue. That means keep up the faith, man. That means don't get fucking weak. All right? If you know something, you have an obligation to do something with that knowledge and that understanding. What are you doing? What kind of return am I going to get for the actions that I'm taking right now? Verse 15, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right. That's why you can't get Revelation 13 wrong. That's part of salvation. You need the wisdom of understanding to see that it's not fucking a white woman it's not christianity and whatever bullshit y'all have made up over the years man moving on second peter and uh whole the whole chapter is good all right um but I'll, I'll skip down um, to verse 17. <coughs> Salakia, so uh, verse 18. It says, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 18, it says, For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, like, like commanding General Yohanna is, is third in command, those are great words of vanity. The Lord is not dealing with some obese nigga named Yohanna as third in command. And where's your humility, man? You're about to be a king, a priest, a ruler over billions and billions of other people. Why do you need to be third in command of Israel? Sit your ass down somewhere, man. It says they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. All right. So the Lord, this goes back to what I was saying earlier. It says Israel have not obtained what which that he seeketh for, but the election obtained it and the rest were blinded. So the Lord already knows the elect is going to see all right, this is some bullshit and they're going to bounce, man. That's what y'all guys don't get. <laughs> all right. It says through much wanton is those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. Verse 19, while they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. And that's what the whole thing is, man. It's all about clout. It's all about views. It, it's about numbers. This is why you're, you're, you're leaning into this worldly twist on things. Nothing wrong with rap. Nothing wrong with making music. But, but, but when you make that the forefront of everything. You make branding and, and logos and, 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 and major events the focal point of everything except in, instead of prophecy. All right, you're going off. That's why y'all still go on Sonnetta. 
y'all accept war to, and engage in nonsense, man, from heathen. And when I say heathen, I mean those, those conscious niggas are basically heathen in their minds. They think they're, they're into everything but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. A nigga will think that, that he, was, he was born on planet risk one week and then the next, you know, he, he's on something else, man. Saying nothing is real. I am my own God. God is one. Them, them kind of niggas, man. Them 432 hertz niggas, man. Why do y'all deal with them? Why? Because for views. To stay engaged. See, you have a need to feel relevant to society at large. When the Lord gave you the first example of the spirit was supposed to be in with John the Baptist. Where was he preaching? What kind of garments did he wear? You see? Verse 19 again, while they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. All right? And that's ultimately what you have with these guys in these groups, man. It's like they leave the world. They become uh, uh, free and unbonded from that just to walk into some other nonsense, man. All right. It says, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord Jehovah Shai Mashiach, <coughs> they are again entangled therein and overcome. <laughs> All right. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. All right. So when when they when they talk shit they, they 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 leave those demons jump on them man you see this a lot with guys that leave the truth you know these these award niggas uh you, uh you call or whoever they are y'all not really that important and you're you're you basically become groupies you you become obsessed groupies and you the, the, the clock is ticking on on on, on how long y'all were doing the work you can always tell by how ridiculous the doctrines get after they leave so, so now you're worse than a nigga than what you were in the world, man. Because now you know of the truth, yet here you are scoffing against it now. Verse 21, it says, For it had been better for them to have not known the way of righteousness than after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. So Nate, ISUPK, all of these guys, they, they abandon the truth. And, and to be honest, um, they're going to abandon a lot of you niggas in those camps. Esau's going to roll just like Revelation 12 and 12 said he would. You got a glimpse, a sneak peek of it in 2020 when he tried to force certain things on you. And when that pressure returns, which it inevitably will, they're going to abandon you, man. And we've been here the whole time. We ain't been asking you for money. We just show up on the highways and byways and we do hella videos. If you go off, you get rebuked. That's Great Millstone. Is every brother in Great Millstone righteous? No. You can't say that. But by and large, the Lord has a certain spirit resting on certain men, on certain groups. For instance, why didn't the ancient Sakari have the same spirit as the ancient apostles? They were both Israelites. They both knew the truth, quote unquote, but one had a different spirit on that whole group. <coughs> Could there have been righteous members in that group of Sakari? Yeah, but they would have left. Were there wicked men around the apostles? Yeah, there were wicked men around the apostles. So there's going to be uh, uh, impurities in both sides, but by and large, by and large, you can see what the Lord is doing with certain groups, man. And Great Millstone is the one that stayed in the pocket. We're just doing our job. Okay? We're not there fancy, crossing out, going, going between our legs. 
behind our back layup, no. And, 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 and when it's all said and done, everything's going to be revealed. You're going to be you're going to be able to tell by how much slander is going to come for us. Now I'm ranting. I'm going to just end this on uh, on Ezekiel. 14. Uh, Ezekiel 14 and 9, it says, and if the prophet be deceived when he hath spoken a thing. I, the Lord Jehovah, have deceived that prophet and will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. So there's differing doctrines, right, on the Karagma. And, and, and to be honest, we're us and Zakari are the only consistent ones. Every other camp has a different variation or variant of it. Well, that's a very, very important prophecy to the Most High, because if you get it wrong, there's blood on your hands, point blank period, because Esau is not playing. He's really about to be that old him pretty soon. Manifest. You're going to be able to see it. And so. The Lord said he's going to destroy you. If you if you told him the wrong thing, man. So what is coming for you camps? This is the beginning of the destruction. Watch how you see more nigga shit going on in these camps. It's going to give Esau more ammo in the news. Eventually, shit like this is going to blow up. It's going to get bigger and bigger. Things are going to start going viral. And Esau is going to get up there pointing, wagging his finger at you. And we're all going to have to suffer it because of these niggas, man. But it's all good because you always had righteous men in the elect that had to suffer for the wickedness of niggas. It's all good. We're just here to tell you what's next. <laughs> okay, as the scriptures tell us to do, and the reality is, is the Lord is getting ready to fuck a lot of these camps up. That's why you're seeing things get worse and worse. They're wa waxing worse on doctrines. More of these King David. I'm King David. We're the apostles. Uh, 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 we're in the new covenant. Ass niggas are gonna start coming out of the woodworks, fracturing off. Big heads of camps are gonna get confounded. Because the Lord is getting ready to destroy people, man. Literally destroy, like put hands on you, like real judgment. And we can't wait for that day, man. Not because we hate you as Israelites, but because we hate wickedness, man. And you refuse correction. So it is what it is. All right, verse 10, and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. All right. So you're causing men to go off, man. That's why it's so important. That's why we don't just let it ride. These other camps, one body or whatever, how it shall wife, they don't get up there and rebuke other camps specifically for other doctrines because they don't have that love. They don't have that, that they don't see the, the, the real danger in it. They're just like, whatever about it. We have our breakdown. They have their breakdown. Well, wait a minute. If we see that you have a wrong breakdown. No, we're going to tell tell uh, tell it to the congregation, whoever's listening, you got it wrong. Why do we do that? Because the people listening to you are going to be are going to get fucked up as well, too. None of this has ever been personal. All right. Grow the fuck up, man. Stop this whole shit. And just do what you're supposed to do. Verse 11, that the house of Israel may go no more astray from me. This is the last time we're going to have to deal harshly with you rebellious niggas. So you know the last time is going to be a, a, a terrible time, man. Neither be polluted anymore with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people and I may be their power. Say it the Lord, Jehovah, Bashem, Yahweh, Shad, man. So... With that, Lord willing, this was edifying. Giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash, Wah, Abba, Babal, Shalom.